good morning students welcome back to english class today we are going to see a new chapter in literature that is chapter number 6 see it through before going to see the concept let's do the warm up activity look here imagine you are being constantly bullied by a classmate of yours what would you do how would you face the bully work in pairs and discuss it then choose the options which you think will help you face the problem okay students if you are teased by someone or if anyone teases you frequently what would you do how would you face that bully so look here they have given some options so which option which option is selected by you that you think will help you to face that problem you can choose any one or or extra options also work in pairs it means you can work uh, this activity with your brothers or sister or your friend read this poem by edgar albert guest to learn what we should do when we are facing troubles okay students the poet name is edgar albert guest from this poem we are going to learn when we are facing troubles what we should do okay now i am reading this poem listen carefully when you are up against a trouble meet it squarely face to face lift your chin and set your shoulders plant your feet and take a brace when it's swaying to try to dodge it do the best that you can do you may fail but you may con- conquer see it through students when you are facing a trouble or problem you can face that problem directly you can meet that problem face to face don't show don't put your face down always keep your face and shoulders straight plant your feet means you can stand against that problem in a strong position when uh, whenever you are trying to face that problem definitely you can uh, you can think that many solutions we are finding many solution they are useless don't think like that and don't um, don't avoid that problem try to find a solution to that problem whatever you are doing they are the best sometimes you may fail sometimes you may fail but definitely you will get succeed see it through it means always focus on your goals then only you can find the solutions black may be the clouds about you and your future may seem grim but don't let your nerve desert you keep yourself in fighting trim if the worst is bound to happen spite of all that you can do running from running from it will not save you see it through students we know that black clouds it represents the darkness when situations are not favorable to you your future may seem unpleasant unpleasant means uh, the meaning for grim is unpleasant it means your future may seem unpleasant but don't allow your courage and don't allow your confidence to leave from you always keep yourself um, fighting that problem in good condition it means uh, fight that problem fight against that problem in positive attitude definitely if you are doing several things worst will happen to you worst will come around you and worst situations will happen to you so don't avoid that problem and don't run away from that problem it will not save you okay just try to find a solution and uh, try to face that problem then only you can fa- you can you can get succeed so always focus on your goals if any problems will occur try to find the solution and face that uh, problem face to face even hope may seem but futile when with troubles you are beset but remember you are facing just what other men have meant you may fail but fall still fighting don't give up whatever you do eyes front head eye to the finish see it through students uh, when we are in trouble or when we are facing so many problems in an unpleasant way even our confidence our hope may seem useless but remember just remember you are facing the problems what other men have met you may fail 
most of the times you may fail you fall but what you want to do you get up and still fight against that problem never quit don't stop okay whatever you are doing whatever you are trying to face that problem never give up okay keep your eyes front and eye to finish that problem see it through so what do you want to do just you want to face that problem directly whatever you are taking they are the best whatever you are taking steps they are the best to finish that problem so students always focus on your goals fight against that uh, fight against the problem or trouble students let's do the exercise look at the first exercise fill in the blanks with words from the box to complete the paragraph here is a paragraph and uh, some words are given inside the box we have to read the paragraph properly and carefully and then uh, choose and uh, choose the answers choose the answers from the box and write it in the empty dashes okay uh, there are times in our life when we have to face what is the answer what is the answer trouble there are times in our life when we have to face trouble when problems arise we must face them face them bravely students two answers are over remaining you have um, uh, eight or seven answers so what do you want to do you should read that remaining words and the remaining paragraph and then answer clearly let's move to the next exercise that is choose the correct option the first one is the poet says that we must options are run away from our troubles brace ourselves and face the troubles bravely hide in a dark place so which is the correct answer yes the poet says that we must brace ourselves it means stand in a strong position and face the troubles bravely so students stick on the option b let's move to the second one in the poem lift your chin and set your shoulders pain means options are preparing to deal with any kind of situation courageously doing physical exercise and the last one is looking straight ahead so which is the correct answer which one is correct for the second one yes you are right the second one is preparing to deal whatever problems will occur we have to prepare to deal with any kind of situation courageously so in the second one in the second one the answer is option a let's move to the third one the black clouds refer to options are cloudy weather heavy rainfall a troublesome situation so what is the answer yes already said that that uh, situation that uh, situation is not favorable it means a problem situation problematic situation only so the option is c a troublesome situation and the fourth one even when you fail the poet insists options are you should continue to fight you should give up you should accept defeat what do you want to do if you fail even when you fail what do you want to do yes you should continue again and again you should continue to fight so the correct answer is option a let's move to the next exercise that is answer the questions briefly the first one is what does but don't let your nerve desert you me it means don't lose your hope okay don't lose your confidence always stay strong and fight uh, fight against that problem let's move to the second one what is meant by the expression see it through what is the meaning of this expression it means always focus on your goals uh, face the problem and overcome them let's move to the third one what is the main message of this poem what we have learned from this poem it means uh, when we are facing problems in our life we should face them courageously sometimes we fall sometimes we fail or uh, sometimes we fail what what we have to do we should raise up we should raise again to continue to fight and overcome the problem and now we are going to see about literary device that is refrain okay students in this poem we have seen a line again and again that is see it through i think uh, it it has repeated three times in this poem if a line repeats again and again in a poem we can call that line as refrain 
especially if it uh, repeats at the end of every stanza we call it a refrain okay now i think uh, you understood clearly uh, why it is repeating again and again means to give a musical note musical effect to that poem or uh, uh, otherwise it enhancing an idea it enlarging the idea in this poem okay students if a line repeats again and again in the end of the stanza we call it as refrain because it is giving musical effect to that poem and enlarging the idea read the poem and identify the refrain in it because i am on a holiday the bell is ringing for the last time the entire six weeks in front of me no more homework and getting up late searching for all the old playmates because i'm on a holiday i wonder what the summer will bring climbing trees or reading books or simply collecting pebbles from the sand when the sun is shining brightly whatever the weather is i shall be happy because i am on a holiday students already we know what is refrain in this poem you should identify the refrain it means you want to read it again and identify the refrain it means underline the refrain already i said that refrain means a line repeats again and again in the end of the stanza i hope you understood clearly so identify the refrain using pencil here is an interesting activity for you have you ever dreamt of achieving something big maybe doing well in academics sports or extra curricular activities what should you do to make your dream come true students everyone in the world everyone has dream every day we are trying to achieve our goal the uh, why we are achieving why we are trying because if we try from today definitely one day we will achieve our dream it means uh, one day our dream come true so here yeah, express your goal through pictures express means you should show your goal through pictures and writing so four boxes are given you should draw any four pictures in that boxes to show how will you achieve your goal so each picture each picture each image shows that uh, the stage in your journey to achieve your goal after the boxes they have given two lines you should write about that picture in the given lines it may be uh, short you can write in uh, you can write about that picture in one word answers also students chapter 6 is over now we are going to do listening and uh, speaking skills of chapter 2 so all of you take the page number 26 Listen to the poem The Arrow and the Song by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow and fill in the blanks. Students now you should do one thing that is listen the poem carefully. This is a test for you. Okay listen the poem carefully and write the answers in the empty dashes. Okay listen carefully. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where for so swiftly it flew. the sight could not follow it in its flight i breathed a song into the air it fell to earth i knew not where for who has sight so keen and strong keen and strong that it can follow the flight of song long long afterward in an oak i found the arrow still unbroken and the song from beginning to end i found again in the heart of a friend students i read the poem so what do you want to do i hope you listened carefully so write the answer if you listened if you not listened properly so again just listen and then write the answers students now we are going to see speaking skills now you are staying at your house so what do you want to do means you can uh, play this activity with your family members or uh, you can play with your friends also what do you want to do means if you are uh, playing as 10 members the first person will start the story the second person will continue the last person it means the 10th person will conclude it means will end the story in one sentence so this is the rules uh, i think it uh, it is a chain game so what do you want to talk what do you want to speak so so that's why they have given four topics you can choose any one of the four based on the topic you can talk about them okay 
i hope you sure you understood clearly students now we are going to see writing skills look here take the page number 27 chotu an orphan works in a tea stall write a paragraph on how you would help him so that he can stop working and go to school chotu an orphan an orphan means no parents for him okay and he works in a tea stall because uh, he don't have parents no he works in tea stall write a paragraph on how you will help him so what are the steps you will take for chotu that steps will change his life it means he can stop working and he will go to school so how will you help him you can write about that in a paragraph okay students i hope you understood clearly chotu an orphan he works in a tea stall and now what you want to do means chotu wants to stop working and uh, he wants to go school so what how will you help chotu you can write it as paragraph students all of you take the page number 34 now we are going to see subject and predicate already we know about subject and predicate because we have seen in grammar now let us see uh, briefly uh, what do you mean by subject subject is the person or thing the sentence talks about simply how can we say subject means a noun or a pronoun look at the example anjali loved mangoes anjali means it's she is a person we are talking about anjali so it is the subject let's move to the predicate what do you mean by predicate predicate tells us about the subject it tells us uh, what the subject is doing so here uh, look at the example anjali loved mangoes what is the sentence what does the sentence say it says that she loved mangoes already we know that anjali is the subject so anjali is the subject so remaining sentence is the predicate let's move to the first exercise look here choose a suitable subject from the box and complete each sentence uh, students five sentences are given what we have to do means choose the uh, suitable subject from the box okay let's do the first one dash gave her a new pen so which is the correct subject for the first one dash gave her a new pen a doctor no her friend yes you are right her friend gave her a new pen let's move to the second one dash spun a web above the door we know very well that that uh, the word web relates to the fourth option spider so the big spider spun a web above the door what is the second answer the big spider spun a web above the door students remaining three sentences are there and three options are there so read it carefully and write the answers properly the next exercise is choose a suitable predicate from the box and complete each sentence here they are given subject we have to choose predicates from the box let's do the first one the flag the first one barked all night this is not the right answer landed the aircraft safely this is also not the right answer fluttered in the wind yes you are right the flag fluttered in the wind let's move to the second one the dogs dogs already we know the answer the dogs barked all night yes students two sentences are over remaining three are there you should try it yourself students now we are going to see about punctuation marks okay uh, what do you mean by punctuation marks punctuation marks means it is nothing but marks marks means that comma full stop question mark exclamation mark these are also these are known as punctuation marks using this punctuation marks is in a sentence is known as punctuation let us see about comma why we are using comma it is used to separate the items okay when we are having a lot of items in a sentence we should separate them to differentiate okay look at the example i like apples grapes and bananas to differentiate these uh, app fruits we used comma and one more thing uh, the comma is used after the word that refers to the listener okay for example uncle where are you going so uncle is the listener here so that's why we put comma after the word uncle let's move to the full stop full stop why we are using full stop 
when a sentence is over we should put a full stop okay uh, look here i have a car here the sentence is over that's why we put a full stop at the end of a sentence let's move to the next one question mark it ask a question for example where are you going it's a question okay how do you do how are you these are the questions when you are asking question questions to someone or writing a question you should put a question mark okay end of the statement you should put a question mark and exclamation mark exclamation mark uh, is if you are seeing if uh, how can we say it expresses a sudden feeling like happiness pain fear surprise shocking for example if you are if you are seeing a beautiful rose how do you feel on that time definitely we can say that how beautiful the rose is it's a sudden happiness so when you are showing when you are expressing a strong or sudden feeling you should put an exclamation mark and one more thing just remember if a sentence um, if you are writing a sentence the first letter begins with a capital letter okay and end of the sentence it belongs to if it is a question you should put a question mark if it is a normal statement you should put a full stop if it is a exclamatory if it is an exclamatory sentence you should put an exclamation mark let's do an exercise that is the passage has errors in each line rewrite it correctly by using punctuation marks and capital letters appropriately students uh, a paragraph is there but the paragraph has some errors in each line what you want to do means rewrite rewrite means recorrect the sentences recorrect this uh, paragraph using punctuation marks just you should keep it in your mind the first letter should starts with capital letter end of the statement uh, full stop question mark or exclamatory mark okay just keep these things in your mind if um, and one more thing if uh, if a list if a number of, if a lot of list appears you can differentiate the list by using comma so some rules are there already we discussed about that so keep that uh, rules in your mind and do this passage carefully students all of you take the page number 35 now we are going to do listening skills it means you listen carefully and answer it listen to what happens to shadow and carly after they are adopted and fill in the blanks Okay now listen carefully Shadow and Carly were adopted by Jenny and her brother Jim they lived in a cottage near the sea Jenny loved Shadow very much and took good care of him Jim was more attached to Carly and took good care of him both Shadow and Carly lived happily in the new home Every evening Jim and Jenny took the cats to the beach where they all played together sleeping by Jenny shadow often remembered page students i hope you listened properly so answer answer it students all of you take the page number 36 now we are going to see speaking skills in speaking skills we are going to see how to make a request and respond to a request Uh, students if we need something from others or we want to get something from others we should ask it in polite manner okay let us see what are the ways to ask in polite manners we can use can you please give me your pen could you please give me your pen will you please would you mind we can use like that okay will you please open the door can you please open the door for me would you mind opening the door for me so these are the ways we can ask others in a polite manner so instead of using can we should use could because could is more polite than can otherwise we can use the word please also if others are asking something to us how uh, how can we respond to that for positive responses we can use yes of course with pleasure sure you can use these ways you uh, if if you don't have that thing you are not ready to do that you can use negative responses like uh, i'm sorry i cannot i'm afraid of i cannot i'm sorry i need it myself 
these are the sentences you can use it in negative uh, ways okay students keep it in your mind if you are asking something to others you should ask it in polite manner if others are asking something to you you can use this uh, you can use any of these six responses students let's move to the next activity that is work in pairs make suitable request for the given situations your partner will respond to the request appropriately perform the activity taking turns students they have given five situations for you you have to make suitable request for the given situation definitely you need a partner it means you can perform this activity with your partner only you can play with your siblings or otherwise you can play with your friends also what do you want to do means you want to make suitable request for the given situation definitely it will be fun for you try this activity let's move to the writing skill uh, let us see what is that imagine your page write a letter to shadow's new parents mention how you miss shadow and how happy you are to hear that he has found a home with two loving and caring children uh, students now imagine yourself as page okay you should write a letter to shadow's new parents that uh, how you miss your pet cat shadow and how happy you are that uh, uh, that uh, shadow has found a home with two loving and caring children so you should uh, give a, you should give a message to shadow's parents that's all so write in um, write in short okay uh, write your message briefly that's all students now we are going to learn about collocation it means that adjectives and nouns so what do you mean by collocation a word that is frequently used with another word in a way that sounds correct what do you mean by collocation a word that is frequently used with another word whenever we are using a word it usually combines with another word for example look here strong coffee whenever uh, we are asking coffee to our mom or anyone we used to tell strong coffee so this is known as collocation because always the word strong combines with coffee strong coffee uh, let's move to the exercise that is choose the correct adjectives to form correct collocations let us do the first one he he has a rich or high vocabulary which is the correct one two options are given one is rich and uh, another one is high which is the correct answer yes high is not a correct answer because always we have to use rich vocabulary he has a rich vocabulary so circle circle the word rich or otherwise tick on the option let's move to the second one a dash wind was blowing whenever wind blows we can say it is strong wind only not powerful wind because powerful is not the correct word so the answer is strong a strong wind was blowing a strong wind was blowing okay students two or over remaining four or there just four you should try yourself okay just read the sentence properly and uh, choose the correct options students uh, now the topic is pronouns already we have learned pronouns in grammar so just uh, we can see this topic uh, briefly what do you mean by pronoun pronoun is a na- pronoun we can use instead of noun yes or no instead of nouns we can use pronoun personal pronoun what do you mean by personal pronoun instead of play uh, instead of people or places we can use personal pronouns okay here is a table of pronouns look here uh, one is singular column and another one is plural column in singular column we have divided into two columns one is subjective and an- and another one is objective the same thing i have done in plural also uh, just take the column look at the column uh, subjective i you he she it we you they these subjective pronouns are acted as subject subjects of a sentence already we know that what do you mean by subject it may be a noun or a pronoun okay let's take the objective column me you him her it uh, has you them it will be acted as objects objects of a 
objects of verbs and positions and one more thing reflexive pronoun are there what do you mean by reflexive pronoun it means it refers back to the subject it refers back to the subject myself himself herself itself yourself yourselves ourselves and themselves or the or reflexive pronouns uh, let's do the exercise that is fill in each blank with the correct pronoun what do you want to do you want to fill the fill the sentence with correct pronoun let us take the first one why are dash crying amit so what is the pronoun which one is correct lots of pronouns are there just now only we have seen so which is the correct pronoun for the first one yes you are right why are you crying you why are you crying amit let us move to the second one dash have submitted our notebooks what is the correct pronoun her notebooks dash have submitted our notebooks that is we we have submitted her notebooks let's move to the third one i know that boy dash is my neighbor i know that boy it means the third person singular then what is the pronoun which is the which which pronoun is correct for the third one yes i know that boy he is my neighbor students the first three sentences are over remaining you should try just you want to write the correct pronoun students now we are going to test our listening skill listen to a description of ninja warriors then mark the statements as true or false now i am going to description i am going to read a description of ninja warriors so listen carefully ninjas were japanese warriors who lived in japan about 700 years ago they were not only fighters but also they were spies too ninjas seek special training from very young age they are expert at handling swords and throwing knives However the main weapon of ninjas was a sword they used metallic cloths on their feet which helps them in climbing and provided protection to their feet ninjas usually wear black clothes which helps them to hide in dark japanese believe that a ninja had some special magical powers that help him to fly Ninja will almost considered as a superman from the past by Japanese people. So students I hope you listened carefully so write the answers. If the statement is true you can write the letter T. If it is false you can write the letter F. Do it neatly and properly. Students now we are going to see speaking skill. Uh, you should work this activity with your partner. Uh, your partner may be your friends or your uh, brother or sister look here work in pairs spot the differences between the two pictures and describe them to your partner uh, when you are working this activity with your partner you have to find out the difference between two pictures after finding the difference you should uh, describe about that to your partner i think uh, you will really enjoy this activity students now we are going to do the last activity that is writing activity look here find out how to make lemon iced tea and write down the recipe in simple steps you can also draw or paste a picture for each step uh, students i think uh, you want to you have to make lemon iced tea with the help of your mother you can do this activity uh, you can ask your mother uh that how to make lemon iced tea afterwards you can write down the recipe in simple steps you can draw or paste a picture for each step that is uh, that is your wish uh, do it neatly and uh, properly students today we have seen chapter 6 in literature and uh, listening speaking and writing skills of all the lessons in literature i hope you understood clearly We will meet on next class with another topic. Thank you.